Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Hump Day! Hump Day! That was the best commercial ever, okay? Mike, 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 Mike. I love that commercial. Anywho, <laughs> um, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And welcome to all of my current friends. So, I have a haul for you today. Uh, from Salvation Army, Goodwill, and my little honey hole, which is called Second, Second Chance Consignment Shop. Sophie, get down. Um, I, I'm really running low on inventory, and I'm really not finding a whole hell of a lot. Um, so today my plans are to, um, after this haul video, I am going to meander out to a few antique shops to see if I can find some goods. So wish me luck. Look, I can't even, I can't even cross my fingers anymore. There we go. <laughs> so, um... I had my sale last night with Stephanie from Thrifting Adventures. I hope y'all were able to catch that. Um, so I also have a sale tomorrow, Thursday, the 11th at 6 p.m. Eastern with Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage Co. So I am not sending any invoices out until after that sale. Now, normally I would also be having a sale on Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern. I probably still will, but it's probably only going to be like maybe 30 items because like I had a sale this past Saturday, a sale yesterday, a sale Thursday, and then another one I'll be having on Saturday. So that's like, you know, four sales in a week, you might as well say. That's a lot. And I'm only one person. <laughs> So, but I thought we would start today's video with, um, I can't remember what the one card was that I did last time with my, um, my slang 101. It's been a while. So, um, I feel a sneeze coming on. <clears throat> oh, God bless me. Excuse me. Usually they come in twos, sometimes threes. Maybe I'm afraid to take a sip of my coffee because I might spit it out all over the, the camera. Okay, maybe it was just a one-timer. But anyways, guys, grab your coffee, get comfy, and uh, we'll do this haul video together. So, today's slang word is baller. A wealthy, romantically popular, outwardly successful man. One who flaunts his assets. Uh, synonyms would be Beast, Mac, Mac Daddy, Shot Caller, Playboy, Hot Stepper. See also Livin' Large. Uh, it, it could also be a basketball player, often from an impoverished background, who, who, who has become an extraordinary flamboyant success. See also, got game. He's no baller, but he sure does have a nice whip. I do know that a whip is a car, apparently. In my day, well, we called a baller, um, you know, like an entrepreneur 
type person, you know. Playboy would be another word, yes. Baller. Where they come up with these words, I have no idea. Yeah, it, uh, whatever, you know. Okay, so that was our slang 101 for today. Very interesting. Okay, so I am going to start with a uh, second chance consignment shop because it's all over here and I need to move it out of my way to get at Salvation Army. Okay, so I spent uh, $45.36. Um, I did not get a whole lot, but what I did get, I'm very happy with. Um, I do believe I can make a profit off of what I bought. So, whatever. <laughs> All right. I will start with this little cutie. This little frosted pink birdie. It's a candle. And, you know, I just thought it was really pretty. And I actually bought it um, with the intent of selling it. I don't know uh, who makes this. There is something on the bottom. Made in Taiwan. Made in Taiwan. Um, but I think I may keep it and put it on the shelf in my bedroom. So, just a very pretty little frosted pink bird. Then I bought this little set of... Uh, trinket dishes. These are left in China. And they do have all of their petals. Um, I was checking it out while I was in there and everything seemed to be intact, which is amazing to me. Oh no, I lied. This one's missing two petals over here. Dang it. But they are adorable, and they would look really pretty on, on a dresser or even in um, a bathroom on the sink to put your rings in or, you know, earrings, whatever. So I got those. I think I have um, a stress fracture in this wrist now as well, and it's really driving me insane. And there's nothing really they can do for that. It has to just heal on its own. But, you know, I keep doing the same thing over and over with the packing, so it's probably going to take a long time to heal. So in the meantime, it's driving me insane. Okay, enough complaining. You're not going to believe what I found, and I asked her if she had any more, and she said, no, not at the moment. This is a Bailey's Irish Cream. It's not a cup. I believe it is a sugar bowl because there's no handle and no handle broke off of it. And as you see, it said yum on the back. So I believe that this is a sugar bowl. I think it's so awesome. So I grabbed that. I found a way in the back and I was like digging around trying to see if there was another one, but no dice. Um, the next thing I got, and these are really, really beautiful. I think I paid, I think I paid $8 for the pair. And these are made in occupied Japan. And it is the set of, um, little naked people candle holders. They're not cherubs. They don't have any wings or anything. Um, but they are, well, I thought they were in excellent condition. This one is missing the tip of its petal down there. But you know what? Nobody's going to walk up and say, yo, uh, your flower's busted. You know what I'm saying? And they're absolutely gorgeous. So I definitely had to pick those up. I think they're so pretty. And they would fit a regular size taper candle. I'm going to lay these down over here on the chair. 
All right. Then I found this little cutie. Um, May the meals that I prepare be seasoned from above with thy blessing and thy grace, but most of all, thy love. And she is a little, uh, she's a little shaker, but there was only one of her. So, you know, she's a little, she's, I was going to say a little cutie again. My daughter's going to knock me out. Um, but she is, she is very pretty and would look so nice in the kitchen. So I grabbed her. I got to wash her up a little bit. She's dirty, but very cute. Has her little stopper there. I don't know who makes her, but I'm assuming she's a Japan piece, so. Okay, the next thing I got, and I think um, this might be um, either Viking Glass or Ellie Smith. I think it might be Ellie Smith. It's this beautiful little, um, I don't know if it's a compote or a little candy dish. But it's gorgeous. I absolutely love the color. Um, that's the bottom. Very, very pretty. It's probably about five inches around, I would say, and probably about five inches tall. Very, very pretty piece. No cracks, no chips. I checked it out. Okay. Um, then I got this adorable little donkey planter. <laughs> he is so cute. Look at him. He's giving the old side eye. Mm -hmm. He said, go ahead, try and put something in my cart and see what happens. Yeah. And this is uh, made in Japan. He is adorable. All right, then I got, where do you guys see this? This is so pretty. Let me take the goodies out of it first. I got this beautiful, this is a, was an Avon piece and it is a powder box, I'm assuming. But look at how pretty, look at the detailing and everything. It is so beautiful. And it's like that uh, reddish brown color. And inside of this were three jewelry items and they came with the box. So there was this beautiful cameo pendant, but it can also be worn as a pin. And then there were two matching pins. Aren't those beautiful? And then I got this. I just thought this was so cute. And it's unique. And it's a very lightweight pin. And it's this little umbrella. And it has like, I don't know what this material is, if it's like a, a some type of enamel or something. But look at how cute. It's made in Taiwan. But I just thought it was really pretty. So I picked it up. So let me put all these little goodies back in here. I really like this powder box. I thought it was very, very pretty. Um... Then I got this pretty, uh, uh, blah, 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 carnival glass. It is the, um, Marigold, marigold color, yes. It is really, really pretty. I love the pattern, the swirl pattern. And then it has the ruffled edges. It is beautiful. Okay, I'll put 
this over here. No, I can't. I ran out of space. Let me put this over here. All right. Um, the last thing I got, which to me is the best. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, this is actually, um, it had booze in it. But it also is a music box and it does play How Dry I Am. <laughs> um, this is from 1974 from Hoffman Distilling Company. Now, he is missing the back of his head, which was the cap, unfortunately. Um, when they emptied it out, they did not put the cap back on. But if he's sitting on a shelf, you're not going to see that. So, but there is the maker on the bottom. And um, he's in excellent condition other than missing the back of his head. And really, if I wanted to, which I might do, I could um, make the back of his head with uh, flesh colored polymer clay. So I might do that. I, I, I'm not sure yet, but, um, you know, we'll see. He's, he's pretty cool. This is uh, old sticker remnants, which I'll, I'll get off. Um, but look at his face. <laughs> he is perfect for St. Patrick's Day decor. Or if you have a bar, you know, you could decorate your bar with him. He is awesome. Not going to play the music, but it does work because I played it yesterday. In fact, me and the girl that owns the place, we were trying to figure out what the heck the song was. And we couldn't figure it out. So she was on eBay looking them up and nobody was saying what music it played. Finally, she found it. And it, she said, it's how dry I am. I'm like, dang, here we're thinking he was playing some kind of Irish song like, oh, Danny Boy or Irish Eyes Are Smiling. And it's how dry I am. But that's pretty fitting since it is a liquor decanter. So there you go. But he is awesome. So let me put him over here. All right. So that was everything from the consignment um, shop. Um, now I'm going to move on to Salvation Army. Uh, I found some all right stuff, you know, nothing really to write home about. Dang it, this wrist is hurting me today. I, I should probably uh, wear a, uh, I have a, a wrist, uh, you know, hand wrist thing. Oh, dear. Um, I spent $29.08 at the Salvation Army. So let me show you what I picked up. Uh, I just got this tin because it was very pretty and it was in excellent condition. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this tin at all. There's no dents. There's no rust. There's no paint loss, no scratches, nothing. And I thought it would look beautiful in a kitchen. And this is the inside. And the inside is in perfect condition. So I picked it up. I mean, how are you going to go wrong with a pretty tin like this? I mean, this would actually match in my kitchen, you know? But, yeah. So I got that. Um, let me see. I'm going to put it over here. I saw this uh, personal creamer. I'm calling it. Well, it could be a personal creamer, and it could just be a regular creamer. This is a Corning Wear item. And the pattern is called French White. And it's just this plain little creamer, no handle. You just hold it like this. Um, and I just thought it was really pretty. And my thought was you could use it as a creamer if you wanted to. But it would also make a really pretty vase for like a little bouquet of daisies or something like that for spring. I just thought it was really pretty and just, you know, elegant, you know, so I, I picked it up. Why not? That's just sticker. I got to take off. 
So we got that. Ugh. Then I got this awesome set of, oh, these are so cool. Hang on a second. Let me see. How does that go? Okay. I have to wash these, but these are some vintage Tupperware salt and pepper shakers. And they have the little dial on top so that you can close it. Whoops. And then open it. And they're in excellent condition other than needing to be uh, washed up. So I picked those up. I pick up Tupperware anytime I can as long as it's in, you know, good condition. Because it usually is a good seller, the older Tupperware. Um, because it was made so good back then. Nowadays, I don't even know if they still make Tupperware. I have no idea, but I do always pick up the older Tupperware. Go ahead, take a swig. <laughs> All right, then I thought of Katie at Vintage and Vinyl when I saw these, so I just picked them up. I know she she collects Coca-Cola items and like the trays, the vintage trays and stuff. I don't know what else she collects, but I just thought they're so cute. They're probably about six or eight ounce little Coke glasses, and they're actually like the same color as a Coke bottle. And I just thought they were so cute. They would be perfect for juice or whatever. So I picked them up. Why not? Very, very cute. I like the, the design, like, on the bottom. It is. It, it reminds me of the, it's the same color as an actual bottle of Coca-Cola. Excuse my head. All right, then, uh, you know, I, I, when I find Halloween that's cute, I'll grab it. Um, I just got this. It's a really cute little Halloween sign. And of course, you know, we have Binks up on top of the uh, pumpkin hanging out. So I grabbed that. I'll probably keep this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It would, it would be cute hanging up outside. I don't know. So there's that. I'll put that on top of my tin there. Um, I also got this adorable little snack tray. How cute is this? Uh, it's made by Certified International, and it has the name Jill Ankrum. On the back, I don't know who she is. I'm not up on my people, designers or whatever. But it has an original price of $56. Does crazy come to mind? Because I certainly am not going to pay $56 for a snack tray. Uh, no. No. But he is adorable. And you could use him all winter long. It doesn't have to be like a Christmas thing. So, I got that. Pardon me while I set him down. Then I got this. This is brand new in the box. However, the candles, I could smell the candles like through the plastic. They smell so good. Apple cinnamon or cinnamon. Um, this is brand new. It is a Yankee Candle little snowman with all of the tea lights. Now, the tea lights look like they started to melt at some point, but I'm sure they're still good. I don't see why. I mean, the wicks are still intact and everything, so. But, I mean, how cute is that? I love me some snowmen. So I got him. And then, where do you see these, you guys? OMG. I got brand new in the box these um, plaid pillar candles, flameless. I mean, how pretty.
pretty are those? Brand spanking new. There was no way I could leave those behind. They're amazing. Real wax, flickering LED lights, and there's a remote control. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So, there you go. Oh, this wrist is not good. It's not good today. It is really, really hurting today. All right. Then I got some old 45 records. Mostly, I mean, they're, they're going to be for sale. I, I'm not up on my records like Katie is from Vintage and Vinyl. But I know like the floating heads, like this is what I mean when I say floating heads. <laughs> it is just so cool. Eddie Howard, Frankie Lane, Jerry Murad's Harmonicats, and Jan August. And this is from, Oh, this is volume two, so there's a volume one floating around somewhere. I see no date on here at all. Um, but the record itself is in really, really good condition. So that's part of the reason I got it as well. I sh I'm going to have to play this. Then, of course, we have Lawrence Welk. I remember my grandmother watching Lawrence Welk every night. I think he came on at like 7 o'clock. And it was all the little bubbles, you know. Yeah. There he is. And uh, here's Binks, too. Hi, Binks. I don't see a date, but this is a double record set. And, you know, this, these are in good condition, too. So, why not, you know? I know there's a lot of people out there that like Lord's Wealth. So, one record is Till the End of Time, Tonight We Love. Claire de Lune, I love that song. And Full Moon and Empty Arms. And then... This one is Our Love, My Reverie, On the Isle of May, and Moon Love. So there you go. Then we have, this is so, so cool. Uh, Al Goodman, Blossom Time. Look at this. So, um, so this is, um, let's see, oh my gosh, I wish I could find a date. They got to be from the 50s. So on this record, it has um, music adapted from melodies of Franz Schubert and Heinrich Burt. So, again, I mean, these records are in pretty darn good condition for, you know, being as old as they are. My Springtime Thou Art, Song of Love. And then the other side is Let Me Awake and Tell Me Daisy. And then this one is, this one's in good condition too. Like, um, Three Little Maids and then Serenade. And then we have Only One Love Ever Fills the Heart and Peace to My Lonely Heart. So there you have it. So, I mean, this is this is a kind of out of my comfort zone, but I thought, hey, why not, you know? 
So there we have it. Well, so I got three um, of the 45 records. And the last thing I got at the Salvation Army is this gorgeous look at this, you guys. Definitely not vintage, but it is gorgeous. It is, let me, obviously, it's some kind of a, you know, a crudité dish. Uh, like this would be for your dip. And then you would put your, maybe your, your vegetables and stuff on here. Um, and it does look like a flower and it is just gorgeous. Like, look at those colors and it has kind of like a, um, like a, like a, a texture to it, almost like the bottom of glass bake, but it's just gorgeous. And so I also, you know, I try to think out of the box as well. I was telling the girl that works there, I know her well. Her mom is a resident at the nursing home that I worked at. And I was telling her, I said, this would be very cool um, if you wanted to use it for that, uh, would be to put bird seed in the, the middle bowl and then fill the, the saucer with water. And you could put this outside. It would be absolutely gorgeous. Um. So if it doesn't sell, that's probably what I'll use it for. I will, I will, I have a pedestal outside and I will set it right on top of it. Just gorgeous, beautiful piece. So that is my Salvation Army haul. Take a little sip break and then I will move on to Goodwill. And I'm hoping to find some good stuff today at the antique stores um, for real and real. And I hope that it doesn't cost me an arm, a leg, and another leg, and another arm. Yeah. Okay. If you remember, uh, first let me tell you, I spent um, $61 at Goodwill. Um, if you remember, I think it was, might've been my last haul video. I was talking about this really pretty, um, like a, a forest green, little bowl that they wanted like 539 or 549 for. Well, this week's colors were, um, green tag and they were half off. So I bought them. So this is the little green bowl that they wanted $5.49 for. I don't mind paying half of that, which is why I picked it up. It's very, very pretty. And then also, uh, I, and I swear I bought the same bowl from Cindy at Cindy's Thrifting again, um, but only a larger one. This beautiful emerald green candy candy dish I guess or you could put cashews in there you could put cheese in there uh you could put a really 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 big air plant in there <laughs> but it is beautiful so I did get those finally I was happy to see the green sticker on them um then I just got this little guy he just was really cute um, he's, uh, you know me with the snowman, I can't help myself. And he was just too cute to leave sitting there. I didn't want to see him get thrown in the garbage. So he came home with me. And of course, anytime I see Florida stuff, I think of Alex at chapter two and, um, Blue Flamingo, Lori. So I saw this and I just thought it was really pretty. And I know this is probably like a, a tourist souvenir or whatever, but look at that. How pretty is that? It says Florida. And I just thought it was so, so pretty. Look at the, sh look at the shell. How pretty is that? So I thought, eh, what the hay? I'll grab it. Uh, 
I actually, I bought these. These are made by, um, these are soy coconut candles. Um, H and H. I don't know what H and H is, but it's this brand new three pack of candles. Um, and we have, uh, one is the, the, the scent is visions of sugar plum, peppermint bark and spruce cuttings. So this would be an awesome Christmas gift for someone. Brand spanking new. So, yeah. I threw them right in my cart. Um, I did grab, I know, I believe that this used to have a candle in it. But it just reminds me of like the jam jars that you can get. And it's this little strawberry um, jar. I believe it had a strawberry candle in it. Um, that's just the sticker I have to get off, but it does have a chip on the inside lid in a couple, um, areas, but that could be touched up with some watercolor paint. And I just thought it would be a really cute, um, decor piece for people that like strawberries. So there you have that. This is a very old Corningware pattern, and I'm trying to remember uh, the name of it. Bluebird of Friendship or something like that. Um, I love this pattern. And these are all in like really great condition. Um, they're from 1975. And there's a set of three. Like, I just, this one I got it clean because it's got grease on it. But it's like a set of three pans. One, two, three. Unfortunately, they don't have the lids. And I don't think I have any lids that will fit these. I'll have to go through my lid collection and see. But, um... They're, they're beautiful. They're in like excellent condition. Um, it does have, see that gray around here? That, that I can get off with uh, a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser uh, with no problem. So, heck yeah, I picked those up. These usually sell pretty well. Yeah, uh, what is this? Is it Friendship? friendship pattern or something like that. I have to look it up again because I can't remember offhand, but so I got those. Then I got this brand new in the box. It's Avon and it is a, a cast iron trivet. Let's see if I can get it out. I was having a hard time getting it out yesterday when I wanted to look at it. Um, and this is a Christmas trivet. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? That is beautiful. So I definitely was picking this up. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't know, guys, about you. I'm, I'm kind of, like, tired of Christmas right now. Do you guys still want to see Christmas stuff, or are you, like, over it like I am? Let me know in the comments, because I would be interested to know. Because I do have Christmas stuff, but, you know, like I said, I'm kind of over it right now. <laughs> so, all right, so there's that. Wait until you see this gorgeous plate. Just beautiful. Is that not stunning? I fell in love with it when I saw it on the shelf. And I, frankly, I just could not leave it there. And I know that someone would absolutely love this plate. Cobalt blue and gold. Doesn't get any better than that. And look at that beautiful picture. Gorgeous piece. Gorgeous piece. 
Now, I picked this up. I'm not exactly sure what these are. I don't know if these are ornaments because it doesn't say what they are on the package. But there's four different ones. So I'm assuming that they are ornaments and they're beautiful. I don't really, I mean, I could take apart the, the box and all that, but I really hate to, you know, but I might have to. Um, they Obviously, they were made to be a gift because it does come with the gift tag right here. So as I said, I'm assuming that these are ornaments. So I picked those up. Beautiful. I love finding brand new stuff in the box at a good price. I mean, you can't beat it. If you need like a last minute Christmas gift for someone, like your kid's teacher or, you know, your son or daughter's new boyfriend or girlfriend, you know, then you have something. So, always thinking ahead. Um, then I picked these two glasses up. I believe it or not sold a set of these before. I think I had a set of four of them. These are federal glass. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the F and the shield on there. But um, they're, I just think they're really pretty and they're perfect for this time of year. And they're a nice addition to um, a bar. So I picked those up. I picked this up for a friend of mine. Um, love the color. And it is this Avon uh, perfume bottle in the shape of a um, sailing ship. Uh, I just think it is so stinking cool. Love the color. So I had to pick it up. I had to. I couldn't help myself. That's my problem. I can't help myself. Then I grabbed these. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure these are probably Anchor Hocking. I could be wrong, but Ruby Red glasses. I just love, and I don't like red, but I like this red. This Ruby Red. I just think it's so rich and so beautiful. So I picked up this set. I found a pink depression glass pineapple vase. I already have this exact vase. Um, if it doesn't sell, I'll probably keep it and then I'll have a pair and I could put one on each end of my buffet. But if it does sell, that's okay too. It is beautiful. No cracks, no chips, no issues. So... Oh my gosh, when I found this in the store, there were about six dead spiders in the bottom. And I'm not talking about like little dandy long legs, okay? I'm talking about like nasty looking spiders. They were all the same type of spider. Yeah. So I'm trying to dump them out. And then there's like a web in there. So the lady goes to this one lady that was shopping. She goes, oh, look, there's a, um, a, a car brush. Maybe you could get it out with that. So here I am with this car brush trying to clean out the spiders. I did get them all out because I really didn't want to bring them home with me, okay? I don't like spiders. So I made sure I washed it up before the haul because it was gross. Ugh. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Um, okay. Next, I found... These are definitely not vintage, but they remind me of like 60s or 70s. And these are in excellent condition. I don't think they were ever used. It is a set of four of these awesome coffee mugs with these amazingly colorful flowers. I love these. They're all in excellent condition. There's, I, like I said, I do not think they were used at all. So I bought the set of four of these. Those are awesome. I love them. 
And I think they're the perfect size cup. They're, this is probably like 12 ounces, I would say. Then I bought this beautiful planter. And I believe this to be St. Francis. But he's beautiful. No cracks, no chips. I was trying to see where it was from, but there's the sticker is on the bottom. Let me see if I get the sticker off, see if it says, oh, but it doesn't say anything. So, but it's probably, it's probably a Japan piece. Yeah, it doesn't say anything on there, but it is beautiful. So, yeah, I picked that up. And we're getting down to the nitty gritty, guys. I only have uh, two more things to show you. Um, these are for me because I love ghosts. So these were uh, handmade ceramic pieces. Uh, I'm trying to see what mold this is, but I can't make it out. But we have this guy. <laughs> and the initials are BS. Yeah, I cannot make out that mold. Uh, then we have, these are from 1980 something. But and look at this guy. And look at, he has a little butt. <laughs> And so does he. Look at this guy. Look at. They have little butts. That's my favorite part. How stinking cute is that? <laughs> so I got all three of these. They're so cute. I just love them. And the last thing I got, and I'm just double checking, let me look and make sure, yep, that's it, is this really pretty, um, it, I, just, I just actually realized that it probably had um, one of those uh, pine cone things hanging from it that you find on cuckoo clocks, but it is a wall pocket. Look at that, isn't that pretty? This is where it would have hung, but that's not a big deal. I mean, you know, you could, I could put a, a, a chain on there and hang like a bead or whatever, you know, or you could just do nothing, <laughs> but yep, that's it. And it doesn't have a maker's mark on it. So I have no idea uh, who makes it, but I just thought it was beautiful. So i very colorful. So I picked it up. So that is my haul for you guys on this lovely hump day Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you on Thursday for my sale with Alex. And I will probably see you Saturday as well. I may be popping on in between with a haul video if I find some good stuff from the antique stores today. So on that note, I'm going to finish up my coffee and I'm going to head out the door. So I will catch you guys very soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you later. Bye-bye.